Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwant and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Ken Powell, Vice President of Global Sales Enablement with SunGuard. Welcome, Ken. Welcome. Hi, Gerhard. You have gone through an incredible process of transforming your sales organization. How many people were affected by the transformation? Internally, we have uh, about a thousand people in our sales organization, everything from quota carriers and sales leaders to pre-sales support individuals, as well as a, a, a global marketing organization. How much time did you have from uh, idea to concept to uh, roll out to execution? We went through this process really fast. So it was a nine to 10 month journey where we um, we went through initial scoping and assessment of, of our needs and priorities all the way through execution of new technology, new training and skills and new, new processes. So we've been, on, we've been on a rapid climb over the past nine to 10 months. So how many different applications did you look at? How many were on the table and how many did you actually walk away with? Each of the categories, I think we've put technology or new services in place for somewhere between nine or 10 categories, whether that be um, whether it be training or compensation or Salesforce automation. And what was your uh, methodology for vetting an app? When I'm selecting a partner to work with, first it, come, the first it comes down to who's easiest to do business with, who brings me the most expertise and insight on the topic or category, areas that I hadn't thought about just yet. So, you know, I want to know someone who's doing research, who's, who's modernizing their applications or their approach, who's really being thoughtful about integrating the customer's feedback. I think the other thing that's important when selecting vendors is their ability to be custom, is to customize. So what lessons have you learned that you can share with others that want to go a similar route? Uh, the first is you have to have a plan. How do you get from point A to point B? And most importantly, how do you prioritize the high effort, high return, low effort, low return type of initiatives that you're going to embark on? Um, the, the next thing that I would say is, is critical is making sure that you have um, the right sponsorship at a senior and executive level in your organization the right set of expectations on timelines and deliverables, and the right set of resources to, to execute something. I've always found that there's a lot of people who want to talk about what a strategy should look like, but very few that are, are methodical about lining up resources in the form of people and dollars to make, to make it happen. And then the third thing I would suggest that every organization thinks through in a, in a thoughtful, thoughtful manner is how do you communicate this change to the organization and how do you ready your sales force for the change, both in the form of user adoption in technology, skills that are going to have to be changed and altered, and then a set of key performance indicators that you really can tie back to revenue and sales contribution. Thank you, Ken. Congratulations uh, to your success. Thanks, Gerhard. I'm looking forward to working further with you and with our partners on our, on our journey.